Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of NBA 2K19 my career mode and We've done all our training for today uh, Let's see what we have in the way of games. It looks as though we are Headed to Boston for a game and then we have Oklahoma City We have nothing Right now for endorsements that we have to do so let's go ahead and get right into the game at Boston. Pick in the draft. Here we go. And, and we here we go against Kevin Boston. And, it just and we've like won the tip. Water for 44 wins, but that set up the Kevin Garnett trade. And then it's like, oh my God, this team might actually win the title. And then they did. And that was a bad pass. Including Paul Pierce, amazing. Amazing. Not as All right, amazing we're down by two right off the bat. Got a little less amazing, and there was some feuding with Ray Allen and Rondo and stuff. But in 2008, amazing. It was terrific. Yeah. The title. Yeah, one title. Should have been two. Should have been two. 2009 was actually. And that's a foul. KG got hurt. So right, that's on Horford, 15, 15, 15, and it's an and one. Up and ready to go. So for New Orleans right now. There we go. Davis are the forwards. Alfred Payton is out there with each one. So let's see if we can get another one on Horford pretty quick. And see if we can get his back up then. On the pass to Hayward. Now Rogier. And Bill Al Horford lacks eye popping numbers, perhaps, but his contribution right, there we go. is beyond the statue. Best teammate, probably in the league. Best chemistry slash glue guy does not it's a care good stop. about getting shots or who gets the attention in that stuff. Can There's an assist, maybe position, yes. Can shoot threes, can stretch the floor. I think when you talk about where basketball is going, he is the perfect guy. So next time down, I think we're going to post up against Horford again. We just we just fouled him. Uh, I would love to see him in the finals. I think. He's been in LeBron's shadow in the East, basically. For so this we need to uh, be a little know, careful not to get our second. Maybe <laughs> less, maybe five series in the playoffs. It would be nice to see him get over the hump. He never gives up on a point. I thought he just, he just never will wave the white flag at any point. No, and he's also a good example for why stats are overrated. All right, that's. And, and he's, at some point, they have. The I think we should have had that, but we didn't. By. He's going to have 13 points and 8 rebounds and 3 assists and he'll have 1.5 blocks, but he'll also make the biggest play of the game and is somebody that cannot really have a good game. Okay, we just want to make sure that we're all over the horse through here. Rocket two. Wow, okay, they couldn't get a rebound. Back to Rozier. And it's ours. And now a chance to honor a player who has been on fire recently. His play has earned him player of the week. Hey, hey. In the West. player of the week. You have a big man carrying as much of the load as he has. It just makes things so easy for the rest of your team. Completely deserving of the award. All you right, come on. Love affair you have with the NBA, and you've written about it for so long. Started with uh, the four dollar ticket in Boston with your dad. Yeah, my dad bought season two. There's the second one on Horford. Boston Celtic, and it was only one ticket. You get two shots. And I think it was four dollars a game, probably like 160 bucks. There's total. one, and Horford's and going he off. Used to carry me, and mainly because they didn't want to pay for a babysitter. So I started going <laughs> to games that year, probably sleeping through a lot of them, and they won and the title. And we have Williams on us now. Four, four years ago. I don't. Or I, there I'm we go. Glad. Remember anything from that season? The three for season three on free throws today. The year later, when they they lost before the finals to Washington, and then the year later they won the famous finals against Phoenix, wow the triple overtime game. We I jumped a little early. Was Cowens on the team. Cowens, Havlicek, yep. JoJo White. Yep. And uh, I was at the triple overtime game in the '76 finals. It was probably the most famous NBA game ever. All right. Of the. I don't, you know, the kids out there now would nominate like Game Seven, 2016, or yeah. something. But triple overtime game was Back the then, most famous oh game goodness. ever, and I slept through the entire second half and the first overtime. Oh no! <laughs> but then woke up because everybody was standing the yeah. whole second overtime, yeah. so I had to get up. There we go. Get in. Oh! Last year's do or die wow. finale between Minnesota and Denver. Final game of the regular season. Momentum is took away my for assist. A tournament for the last two playoff spots. What do you think about that? 
Yeah, I wrote about this in 07. I had a whole, I called it the Entertaining as Hell Tournament, where basically the first seven seeds were guaranteed, and the 16 teams there we go. Make it, uh, out of the two conferences. All right, we've got so seven points head -head, now. Single elimination. And then you have the final two games in New York City, and you blow it out. And, and timeout, Boston. I think that. We were talking about the okay, and they sat us out until 3:47 in the second. I suppose, Bill, one argument is that you want regular season games to be more significant, and you want that regular Rosier season to be Rosier, the liner, Rosier, Rosier. A little bit more. Yeah. Make, make the pace. I don't know. When you get after the All Star break, you can really feel these guys slogging through mm -hmm. it. You know, and especially with the good teams, like a team like Golden State. All they did all year was... was wow. Okay. Oh, you knew this would be a hard season. It can't be that hard. You have four of the best 20 players. Like, settle down. I think you'll be fine. You're winning every game by 30 points. Yeah. But uh, I do wish it. I wish so, it here we go. It's up, oh, and we've got it. In the backcourt. Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Hayward in at the small forward position. That's the Boston Five. All right, let's catch All right. our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Pistons. So I guess that's how it's going to be. They're not going to be able to shoot. Points. And as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. It was another strong showing for him. Okay, we're up by four. Have it. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David. Up no by three. Defense focused on him here after that stunning game last time out. You better believe it. He'll be looking at double teams, guys up in his jersey all game long. I think that's the way this there guy we go. likes it. He wants a challenge. It makes him more. They got to stop double teaming me. To show what a force he can be. I'm gonna find that open guy every time. More damage to the rim than that when he wants oh to. you're right oh and with the lead they're enjoying i'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one it's brown on the wing covered by miritich nice ball movement all right come on let's it go from the wing and too long on the shot pelicans leading by five ai kicks to miritich and there's, and there's a here. foul on Hayward. That is his first foul of the game. Here's AI. Well, we love Al Horford because wow. he's an effective two-way player. His attention to detail on the defensive end paying off. Hayward passes to Horford. Plays it okay. Up, it in. That's fine. Four points now in the quarter. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. To the inside. And the shot goes in. That's three assists. Payton's got six. Boy, at six foot four, Alfred Payton has great size at his position and uses it to his advantage to score inside. Rogier kicks to Williams. Hayward outside. Down low. Here's Rogier. Pelicans pull it in. Their last encounter was Okay, Peyton Williams. lost, or he Just lost an Peyton. Amazing game when they met them last time out. Talk about a photo finish. Hey, Bill, thanks for coming by. Fantastic stuff as usual. We really appreciate your time. I uh, appreciate being on Go Celtics. <laughs> you can't root on these guys. I'm absolutely rooting. <laughs> That's my team. Door is always a spirited discussion when Bills and, and come on. To share his personal views. Wow. Yes, Kevin. He has broken the internet once or twice. This guy is no stranger to controversy. But I will say this. Okay, we're up by three. About the NBA. Well, this is a guy who understands his role in their offense, right? And they know exactly how to use him. AI right side. And Rogier All right. Well, well, you know they're in the lead, but he's still. I'm gonna start passing them. So I'm gonna have to. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the half. Horford shot. Are you kidding me? Found his stroke here in the second. Wow. After missing everything in the first. And so Payton will bring it up for New Orleans. Outside Mirotic. Inside. Here's AI. Al Horford with the rebound. How did I not hit that? He's been a little off on his game. Yeah, scoring isn't coming naturally to him right now. Looking a little bit uncomfortable out there. Okay, well, we're down by two. We got ten seconds. 
I'll tell you, it takes a lot to knock Al Horford off balance. He is incredible at keeping his concentration through contact. Okay, I'm just going to stand here because, yeah. I was calling for that for at least three seconds before they even thought about passing. And here we go in the second half. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. So for New Orleans right now, on the perimeter, Moore and Hill. AI is out there with Davis. There we go. Peyton in at the one spot. Doors are seeing a lot of movement on the offensive side of the ball. A lot of screening, a lot of movement, obviously. That's for assists. That require more awareness, not only on the offensive side. They don't have us on Horford anymore. No, I don't think there's any question about it. One of the most important things you can do if you're an excellent defensive team is you start with communication. So as that action starts, the movement in the screen. Wow, that should not have been a foul. Walking, screen coming right, screen coming left. Do we want to trap the screen? Do we want to make sure the ball gets out of a certain player's hands? Maybe it was a good foul. In this day and age against motion offenses has got to they be lost one point, so. Well said. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, last season started with that. There we go. Injury to Gordon Hayward's leg. Now, it's been a long road back for him, but he took heart in the encouragement. Got 783 team, fans off family, that. But from so many well-wishers. He said, you realize how lucky you are to have people from all over supporting you. Guys. David, I think everyone is rooting for his complete recovery. Thanks for that report. Wow, he that just got two. right by me. You know, when Williams gets positioned inside, he just looks to dominate physically. And then he shows you the skill set on top of it. Oh, come on, Davis. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case. Okay, well, uh, we take a timeout. We're down by three. And they sat us down for almost the rest of the third. We've got 9.4 seconds left. We are down by six in the third. Down by five. Nine seconds left in the third. Hayward outside. Over Randall. Okay, well that was a good shot. A uh, good shot contest. So. out in front. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. We are it's been a very down by five. So far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Filling out the wings, it's Brown and Hayward. Williams is out the end. Down by three. And it's smart in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Got 1,500 more fans and the on that. With possession here, it's a three-point game. That will be a getaway game for them—a one-game road trip. Outside Williams, back to Smart. Okay, let's see what they're going to do here. 13 feet away, and it's off the back rim. No good. Pelicans trail by three. AI passes to Davis. Here's AI. Oh, Boston. I had that. He's got four rebounds in this game. I'll tell you, it'd be a big help if he could snap out of this cold streak. His shooting has been hurting them. Pass to Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Okay, come on. What are we doing? Oh, that. Hayward can Okay. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's AI. And there we go. Two free throws coming we got two free throws here. And not too long ago, Doris, the Celtics put up the most shots in the Miss league one. two years in a row. But last season, they were 25th in that category. Well, think about it. We make Kevin the other. We're down by two. Type of team one year ago. There was more movement, more sharing of the basketball. They went and they have us the back on Horford. Almost every possession, and that made it harder for defenses to key in on any one individual. And the Celtics making a change here. Horford's checked in. 
they get it back and a lot of there we go one, so I'll take that move. foul you know if you give him the opportunity Al Horford will seek contact he wants to get to the line okay we're down by three so he makes one of two as the second one misses and if there was ever a guy who was more than what his stats say, it's Al Horford. Won't have nights where he drops. There we go. Down by right one. Away. You ask anyone he's played with, and they'll tell you he is a perfect teammate. Hayward on the wing. Passes it to Williams. And he uses Okay, we're down by three. Let's go. And the Celtics lead by three. Al Horford is so impressive as a passer, a big man who can dish it so valuable. Nice. And the big man who compete against Horford have nothing but respect for him, Greg. Well, it, it is why he's been selected as an all-star by his peers and, and, and why guys like Embiid admire his game. I mean, Horford does all the small okay. on the floor. Do you need as that was player? not supposed to be my so guy. Humble. He just goes about his game. That's not a smart switch. In every facet. Rogier right, we are down by four. And so Peyton will bring it up for New Orleans. And stolen by Horford. Wow. Brown feeling out a bit. A fader. And it's Rogier missing. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, starting to look like it's taking it. There we go. I'll take that. Doesn't look like himself. Fifteen hundred more fans. Really, when it matters most, he knew he had the height advantage and just got the down job by two. To two minutes to go. He kicks it to Williams. Back to Rozier. Hayward against Hill. Pass to Williams. Just five on the clock. Cloak loose. Here's Hayward. Misses off the right iron. The Pelicans trail. To the paint. Wow. They should not have passed that. 132 left here in the fourth quarter. Okay, we're down by four. Oh, it should be tied. The Pelicans have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Here's AI. That's in Okay, there we go. There's 20 points. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. And now this game's taken on a whole new feel since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. All right, let's see if we can get a stop here. Wow. Good for two. Exactly what you want from the talented Hayward, the kind of poise that makes him a big shot maker. Oh. Oh. Boy, that's exactly how you have to play defense when he's driving the lane. You cannot give him any space. All right. We may not win this one. We're down by six. Down by seven with a minute to go. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. And definitely playing the opponent, but also they're playing against the clock. No, you're absolutely right. It's not impossible to catch up. And that's on me over the back. And they're in the bonus. On that play, tries to climb over the top of them and gets whistled for. Well, the aggressive attitude getting the best of him that time. All right, we're down by nine. So now it's a nine-point ball game. Well, there's so much to like about Al Horford's game, right? He's a superb shooter. He's an excellent passer. Very high basketball IQ. Okay. What's not to like, Kevin? And it down by seven. Efficient and productive game for him, but again, he's not going to be able to do it all by himself. Outside Williams. So we're still gaining fans. Back to Rozier. Down to five on the shot clock. It's tipped. Another shot. Wow. Here's Horford. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Oh, come on. Yeah, this game's over. So it's the Celtics. All right. Lost by seven. And here we go against Oklahoma City.
Last game for the Pelicans, they ended up losing to the Celtics in Boston. And the big problem, so let's see if we can pull out a win here. A very low percentage from beyond the arc. And you know, Greg, to me, that's baffling. I'm not sure why they didn't do some dine in eating, go inside and eat instead of there all we go. We got a rebound drive through behind the arc. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade. All few wow, I go. okay, a starting five on the floor. So for Oklahoma City right now. I actually didn't try for that pass. I was calling for a pass as I was going by. But apparently I picked it up. Really changed pace quickly. He's excellent at drawing physical contact. And he was one of many big names. There we go. We're down by two. Summer Paul George, a huge part of that. But you know, Greg, he didn't take long to make his decision. Many expected George to maybe jump to the Lakers had been saying it was his dream to play in LA and here we go here but credit Westbrook and the Thunder they, they want him over he was one of the first signings in free agency to re-up with OKC and it's and the ball Thunderball bounds. it was last touched by Peyton here's George and, and there's a foul on Hill that's his second foul, shot misses he'll be shooting too and New Orleans gets called for the foul. In less than a minute. And Paul George, a, a terrific two-way player. An all-star. We're down by four. NBA performer and multiple all-defense selections. Miritich has checked in for the Pelicans. Great touch from the line. Wow. That went right through me. Guys to be able to come through at the strike. Westbrook kicks to Grant. Apparently that's a thing. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Ball's knocked loose. Peyton passes to AI. Heritage has a wide open look. And that one wow. started him off in the night. And Paul George has made it a goal to win Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, he's got tremendous length and quickness. But really, his pride at that end of the floor might matter even more. He just takes great pride in All right, it's our ball. Player. And a look at the recent power rankings. Some interesting stories here in the early part of December. Look at Philadelphia. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. Uh, I think for New Orleans, they are you size, kidding me? A, a tick below some of the elite teams in our league, but you love the fire and spirit they've shown here thus far. And foul on the show. All right. Well, it's been almost two minutes, and we can't score. Promising future in this league is because he's a stat sheet stuffer. He does it all. And at this point of the season, Clark, we can see which teams have the better depth, the better bench. If you would there talk we go. about the importance of having a strong bench over the long haul. For contending teams, I think it's a difference maker because it allows you to work through the... So we're having a hard time getting the ball. ...in a more measured way, which gives your key players rest. You spread out the minutes over more players, so that tends to... And, of course, Westbrook... Freshness goes over everybody playoffs I don't know if you can overstate the value of a very of a quality bench when you're a team that's expected to make a deep run in the playoffs there we go so I know we can score it's just we have to be able to get the ball two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first passes to Robertson and George kicks to Westbrook a hand on it and he gets it back outside for George that three off the mark okay and you well we've got two blocks now was gonna fall. Miritich dishes to AI. all and right fall, we're tied though. and just a nice combination of, of size and feel there terrific finish down low and here's Westbrook he'll bring it up for Oklahoma City to the inside Adams finds George. Grant surveying the D. Oh, okay, that's and his. George. Five on the clock. No good from outside. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder in their last game, a loss to Utah. Yeah, they wow. That one. The defense constantly not what I was looking for. Way too many times. 
Yep, and that's not a winning performance. I mean, you got to tighten up the defense moving forward if you're going to get some W. Boy, he's having a tough time right now. Seems like he's All right, we're up. Shot a bit to me, Kevin, not letting Oklahoma City And we set until 3:14 in the second. It is tied at 20. And Adams is at the line. And they now lead. And we're down by one. And Steven Adams came into this league at 19 already. A physical specimen and has only gotten stronger. Just a bruising presence down low. On the perimeter. And Westbrook fouled me. AI is out there with Davis. And it's Peyton in at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Second chance shot. The shot. No good. All right. Some nice D. AI has gone two of five from the floor. And plenty of bump and an elbowing and inside. yeah, I uh, Stephen Adams strong enough couldn't though, run fast enough. Top of that battle. Yeah, not shot at all about contact. Grew up the youngest of 18 children. He had to hit above his weight for over a decade. Now he's got the upper hand. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for reports from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI all right, their last time out we're gonna be Celtics, we're gonna be like setting guys up, I guess. He ended up with 22 points and also added five rebounds to round out his scoring figures. He absolutely stole the so show. So we're gonna have to rely on everybody else to be shooting all the time. It'll be interesting to see how he follows it up, Kevin. Thanks, David. It was a performance that not many players are capable of. I know I won't forget it for a while, and you have to think he'll keep it rolling here tonight when you're that high, there we go it takes a while to cool down and you know what Greg, i guess we can set people up be ready if we him. can they get a double double out of it that's easy. fine coming off a game like he just had i mean he's going to get a bunch of attention here's westbrook and he uses the glass on the we jumped way too Westbrook's early got his second bucket tonight and it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift yeah, oh come on I mean they're making amends for that slow start finding a rhythm right now and let's take a moment here to get your guys that was take terrible on so far for the thunder playing a physical brand of basketball so far and those trips to the foul line have been very effective they've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight too Grant outside back to Westbrook and the Wow and how about the incredible time completely oh, lost his guy he absolutely hammered it down well I tell you what that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open and, and there's a foul on Grant. Moment, indeed, what a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. The Pelicans shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And when you think of free throw shooting, not particularly a strength for this group. All right. Around 70%. Guys, strictly in terms of their percentage, their free throw shooting has deteriorated a considerable amount since last season. Miritich has checked in for each one more. And he recovers it. Adams, the pass to George. Good on the three. Wow. Shot. George has got eight. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been Look at that. Offensive output. A smart that was a quick one. Pass inside there. He really made it easy for his teammate. Westbrook kicks so that might be how we're going to have to do that is just quick post shots. Pass to George, and oh my gosh. It off. Boy, the high flying acrobatics of George. Something to behold. When he leaves the ground for these alley oops, you drop your jaw in off. Look at that. The quick ones are going. Down to four on the bucket from AI. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. And I tell you what, he's doing his best to contribute, but he's been out of sync. Wow. Out of sync. Luckily, this team still is in front. Here's Westbrook. I'd Here's like to be able to rely on other people to shoot, but it him, just... And he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. There we go. Shot he has to continue to take. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his... Wow. 
burying the quality shot. All right, we're down by four. Hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Down by four at the half. And a close game so. And here we are for the second half. Off guard so far here in this game, racking up a bunch of trips to the line. Yeah, and you know what? I like the fact that he's staying an aggressive. There we go. I mean, forcing the issue. Making the defense. Foul. We want to keep those going. Four for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. Inside pairing is Grant and Adams. Westbrook and Robertson the backcourt, and it's George. And it's well, we knocked it away, but it's position. still their ball. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. When it comes to initiating this play, Clark, uh, for your money. Who are the perimeter pick and roll ball handlers right now in the game? Well, the guys that come to mind for me, um, Chris Paul is fantastic in the pick and roll. Damian Lillard is outstanding. There we go. Martin. We're tied. And I think Victor Oladipo is getting better. I mean, he's so good at finding seams and using his athleticism to get to the bucket, and he's really grown as a finisher. Kyrie Irving is just a terrific one-on-one -on -one player. All right, I'm just kind of trying to keep my guy in check. The screen guy. He's so good <laughs> with the ball. And um, obviously Steph Curry is, is in that category. Too. There we go. Yep, that one goes in. See, the quick ones are working. If I can get a shot up straight away, I can get it to go. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Oklahoma City. To the paint, here's Robertson. That one drops for him. All right, we're down by and two. The Thunder lead by two. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Kept alive. Look at that. AI. AI's got 16. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. So we'll yeah, do a takeover. Greg. I mean, it's impossible to play your A. Okay, and we've got Nerland's Noel on us. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Belton inside the three point line. The Thunder with another miss. The Pelicans have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Hill passes to AI. There we go. We're now ahead by two. Eighth make. Now eight for 14. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. We blocked it. And he'll kicks to AI. And he drops All right, we got 20 goes. points. We got nine now rebounds. Four point New Orleans lead. Oh, great ball movement. We've got some blocks, a couple of assists. You know, Julius Randle is a young power forward, a little undersized for that position, but fairly dependable. Good movement when he gets to the basket, and he knows how to finish inside. Surprised his rookie option wasn't picked up, but oh, he made the best terrible. of free agency. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. There's Schroeder. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And that's on Randall. Double digit rebounds now. And we sat until 419 in the fourth. Here's AI. And he could not get there. And that's a third foul on Adams. And he'll go to the line for two. He misses oh. the three. And there we go. We're up by one. Puts him up by one point. Yeah, one more make would have been nice, but they do walk away with the lead. Hill and Davis are the forwards. Alfred Payton is out there with Miritich, and it's AI in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Robertson kicks to Westbrook. To take the lead. Oh, the tray. okay. Westbrook's got five We're down by two. Down that was on Westbrook. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always... Oh, that was a long one. Nice mid-range. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps, Greg, some type of motivational speech at halftime got both of these teams fired up. Westbrook drives in. And that's on Peyton. He is a standard bearer for the Jordan brand with his own signature shoe, Greg. Few players have ever been as competitive as Michael Jordan, but I think Westbrook may be in that conversation. And no we're down by the two. Similarities don't end there. The, the surreal athleticism, the, the will to dominate. There we go. Finding grudges to motivate them to their highest level. I think there's a kinship in how MJ. I like that. Us. 
approach the game. The Thunder have gotten all so he just wasn't watching me. In the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And George kicks to Westbrook. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's Robertson. Outside for George. The pass to Westbrook. Here's Robertson, covered by Peyton. Grant in the post. Davis is there. No good from Grant. Okay, let's see here. Let's. Oh, I didn't want to get it to Davis, but that's fine. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Pass to Robertson. A shot. No good. There we go. Great D that time from Davis. More right side. Look at that. And he banks in the layup. And the Pelicans lead by I was two. hoping he was going to break oh, in like that. And, and the defense really offering very little resistance. Well, they don't have anybody to blame but themselves. Got to prevent them from getting So we've got about late in the ball. two minutes and ten seconds stop. left. George, that's a two-pointer. And good. He and it's tied. George has got the game tied up here for Oklahoma City. Hey, when you've got a player like George in these moments, you turn to him. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. To the middle. Here's AI. The Thunder pull it in. Hmm. Over more. Offensive rebound. Robertson can't hit. Boy, the defense did an awesome job there, Kevin. Big time work. Really distracting him. Going off the shot. That's how you do it on There we go. And AI throws it down. Tremendous court awareness by Peyton. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Minute and a half. We're up by two. Over Peyton. And it's Westbrook missing. For New Orleans, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And the best in We're the up field. by four. Here's Robertson. Is it to West? It's deflected. Tries again. And we'll take a foul. It wasn't on us, it was on Peyton. In the history of the game, an incredibly gifted score who can also punch it on you. And Russell Westbrook. And we're up by two. And really just a great rhythm at the line. Whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Inside. Here's AI. There we go. Now we're up by four. Less than a minute to go. When they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. And timeout by the Thunder. And I am the player of the game. Double double on points and rebounds. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Let's go now to the side. And I've got a few assists in there, too. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. We are up by four. Now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. And that's uh, the third on Peyton. All out effort can win this game. There we go. That was a good foul. The fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, wow! It, if they would have passed it to me when I called for it the first time, shot by George, wide and now it's tied. Wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Shot after shot, one after the other. PG, Paul George, making it happen. Side hill. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's ours. Okay. They say last touch by Adams. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. A really good rebound. Wow. Okay. Sixteen seconds and it's tied. All right, let's see what they do here. Yeah, chance to take the lead. This is huge. 
Dayton against Westbrook. Over Peyton. Oh, that's the game. This is what you know. He's coming. Of course, Westbrook is going to make that every time. As well, how to gain is not enough time to get a catch and shoot. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really we lost. And I can't believe how bad he looks like this. Hey, I, we've got an interview with Griff. Oh, really, Charlie, come on. I know, you'll be fine. Just get it over with, okay? Hey, I. What's up, thanks bro? for taking the time. So, that's two losses in a row. What's the mood like around the team? <laughs> what do you think the mood is like, Griff? Uh... I imagine there's some frustration, disappointment. Yeah, check and check. No one likes a losing streak, and I can guarantee you the fans don't want to watch this garbage either. I mean, it's just a bunch right, of... AI, AI, I think Coach is looking for you in the locker room. Why don't you go oh, come check? On. Man, you told me to do this, right? Come on, Charlie. Hey, we got some more fans for that. And teammate chemistry went down, but that's fine. We got fans. All right, so that's two losses in a row. That's a little bit frustrating, um, but yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna come back next time and we're gonna try to break that streak. Um, end the losing streak at two would be the best. And uh, let's see where we're at right now. So we are about a hundred thousand fans away from getting a shoe deal. And we are still 6th in the All-Star voting. We need 5th for the career objective. And next time we're going to be playing against Miami and Milwaukee. But that will be next time. That is the end of this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Allstream. That hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.